What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we are back with some more Need for Speed No Limits episode 132. With some more of the daily grind. That's right, more PvPs, more tuna trials, more car series, more campaign replayables, and definitely some more car tuning. Now, I did a few little things, and we attained a few certain items, but first things first, let's go ahead and grab our daily gold, our daily race skips, and the first of five free upgrade crates of the day. Alright, so we got some fasteners going on. Now, uh, blueprints and materials will update in about 15 minutes. So 15 more minutes and we'll have those ready. That being said, Let's hop into the garage because we have two surprises for you today. Also, look at my money. 964469. Hmm, palindrome, very nice. So first things first, let's slide over to the right because the Snoop Dogg 4 GT uh, Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 Snoop Dogg Edition is ready to stage up. And when we say stage up, we mean stage up. Oh, that's right. Nice, even 700. Oh, but we're not done yet. We got another stage up. That's right. Stage 5 complete. Now sitting at a nice 716. Oh, but wait a minute. We're not quite done yet. We have one more stage up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We have a fully staged Snoop Dogg GT500. Sitting currently at a nice 732. And I think we just got this car a little bit less than a week ago. And she's already sitting at 6 stars. That also means that we've got parts. And a lot of apart uh, before I do we'll, we'll, we're gonna get to that we're gonna swap out the parts in this car we're, we're gonna do that I just wanted to check all my muscle cars here the reason why I'm checking my muscle cars here for one particular reason because whatever parts that I have for this car I'm going to transfer it to another muscle car in my garage more than likely the four Falcon will get all these parts to me it makes the most sense that means we will be keeping all of these parts and putting it into the Ford Falcon I didn't realize I had five blocks until I just put that block in. And honestly, this is where the fun part begins. Because now, we're getting all these parts installed. Not the battery, but the blow off, or the dump pipe. Dump pipe. My English is not English right now. I almost hit scrap by accident because I'm so used to just getting rid of materials or getting rid of parts and getting the scrap points for them. Also, y'all have voted in the in a poll as to which uh, event I should do next and the overwhelming uh, overwhelming majority voted me to do um, which one was it it was urban legend so next episode we will be starting day one of urban legend the reboot of course because I did urban legend before I didn't get a chance to finish and I hope I didn't accidentally scrap that other 
part I probably did and just by accident it's cool though because I got so many scrap points I can probably get it again so No, I don't think I scrapped it, because my scrap points would have went up if I did. Okay, well, at least, at least we got the regulator. And then, of course, we have these valves. They all come in handy. And that is $220,000 that we just spent on keeping parts and adding materials and this, that, and the third. So let's go over to the Falcon. Everything that's in this car will go to the scrapyard. Won't need it anymore. Luckily for these parts, I don't have to um, uh, try to s stage them up or anything. Except for the nitro. I believe the nitro is getting some fuses. Still getting good amounts of scrap. Sitting at a nice 660. Ah, yes, and it was the four fuses. That's what you call fusion power. All right, very nice. So both the Falcon and the Snoop Dogg GT500 have increased in their performance. But still quite a bit of ways to go for both. Also, the other surprise, we got a brand new car introducing the 54th car into the garage. The Judge Charger SRT Hellcat. Sitting at a smooth and very respectable 613 performance. Yep, we got the four door Hellcat. Oh, that, that honestly looks nice. Of course, I'm always going to change it. And a new car series added being Hell Riders. And already got some materials to add to this beat. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, by materials, I mean one material. Oh, no, we still got other materials apparently. Ah, like that one. And this one. Ah, two clamps. I think that might end that at least. Possibly. Oh, yep. That's exactly what it did. Okay. Very nice. Also, it'd be nice if I did what I normally did and went ahead and painted black. But let's go ahead and check out the parts before we continue. So, obviously, there's going to be wide body kits. I don't really like that one. I think I would pick this one over that one. That that one's a little too... I mean, it makes the rear end a lot wider. And, you know, I like that and all, but... It, it kind of just doesn't look right. But then again, if you pair probably with something else, like a different hood or 
Okay, I'm not using any of those hoods. Those hoods look horrendous. Do, do y'all not know how to customize cars? Like, come on, this, you know, come on. Oh, no. Mm -mm. That, that's, that's not acceptable. Now, what are some of these? We're going to keep the stock wheels on this. Stock mirror. Obviously, no roof scoop. Wouldn't want a roof spoiler. I mean, vertex spoiler, yes, but not right now. It's not available. And let's just take a look here. Hmm. Okay. Some differences, but not much. Of course, it would look weird to not have that rear spoiler on there. So really not much going in the customization department, which is a little bit disappointing. But we're going to do like the Rolling Stones and we're going to paint it black. Yes, I did say we're going to paint it black. Ah, I figured this matte colors. But again, we're painting it black. With gray brakes. And finally, to work out the stance, that means boom, 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 boom. Now I might raise it up just a little bit. Nope, slammed all day, every day. Honestly, that doesn't look bad. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Alrighty, moving on. So those are the two surprises uh, starting off today's episode. You know, very pleasant surprises, obviously. So we are up to 54 out of 172 cars. Our collection is on a consistent rise as far as growth. Oh, I got good. I got four more minutes before... That is Rage Rock. So, let's go ahead and grab the second uh, free crate of the day. Now, I'm going to try to keep this episode relatively short. Because, as I mentioned, we are going to do Urban Legend, and I want to go ahead and see if I can try to do that. Oh, what's this? Oh, very nice. I'm not going to go for it, but that's nice. Alright, so, hopping straight into the PvPs, we still have uh, four, day, four and a half days left for a country mile and we make quite a bit of progress in all of the divisions a tier in both driver and speedster and b tier in the breakneck division so speaking of the breakneck division let's hop into it let's see if we can get up into a tier more than likely not going to happen but we are going to try our hardest yes we will and so far against other hennessy venom f5s i'm currently Four, four, five. That's right. I took one L. Either four for five or five for six. It's one to two. Don't fully remember. And at this point, I'm going to stop keeping track. <laughs> that one Hennessy really just had me beat. And oh, here we go. Oh, I think he got hit. No, he didn't.
Ah, barely took the win that time. But I think because he lost a lot of speed on that long sweeping right hander. Yeah, if you don't know how to pick your lines, you're going to lose a lot of speed in, in some of these corners. Another Hennessy Venom at 5. I'm s a little bit surprised that we're actually beating other drivers that have significantly higher performance than me. But I also feel like I'm getting lucky because I'm familiar with how the cars handle. I know different ways in order to make them go faster around certain tracks. And I feel like I'm, I'm exploiting a lot of people's weaknesses here. Not in a bad way, but definitely more towards my benefit than anything else. Of course, stuff like that doesn't help. Another loss. Yeah, I barely lost that. Damn. He was quick. Fair play to you, sir. Alright, so you know the rules. Every single time we do lose, that means we have to swap to a different division until we complete five races. Of course, we try not to lose that often, but, you know, things happen. That's part of racing. Let's actually hop into the driver division. It's been a while since I've been in there and we are up by two so far and this is where we might take another L <laughs> my first time driving against a Honda Civic Type R in this week's PvP and you know what that doesn't look bad functional camber nice and slammed kept the championship white looks good white wheels okay all right it's clean. A solid 8.3 out of 10. Very nice. Though your launch, sir, is a 2.1 out of 10. <laughs> but I feel like he's going to be catching me pretty quickly. So let's uh, focus up. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. So let's go here, and now we nitrous out of the corner. Beautiful. That's how you take the lead back. Hop straight onto the racing line. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That was close. I scraped that wall, lost some speed, and that was almost the end of me. That was too close. Way too close. Way too close for comfort. But we still won, so that's one for one against the Honda Civic Type R. And now another one. Oh boy. It's going to be a long day of racing. Another clean Honda Civic, not slammed, didn't do any of the camber or anything kind of sort of just stock looking but of course there's not much parts for these cars anyway so can't do much oh he's gonna be right on my tail oh no I lost it Yeah, I lost this race because I missed that nitro strip and it costed me. Yeah, no chance. I, I feel like my best opportunity in order to win these races will come later on in the week once all the quicker drivers with the faster cars move up. And it'll give me a chance to move up myself, so. 
Well, nothing else to do but hop in the speedster division. We still got one more race to do, at least in the PVPs. And another Mercedes AMG. <laughs> I, I, I keep laughing because, keep this in mind, this particular car, this Mercedes, is in the street car category. And the fact that it's able to keep up with these Cayennes that are in the sports car category. And beat some of us. These Porsches. Especially when I have a terrible launch like that. Yep, I might as well kiss this race goodbye. Unless he makes a huge mistake. No guarantee he will. Yeah, I, I basically gave him this race. Wait a minute, I'm catching. I was anyway. Something tells me their top speed isn't that high. I say that and yet he still pulled away from me slightly. Yeah, honestly, I messed up on the launch. That's what killed me. Oh, well, damn. I guess I didn't have a chance to begin with. Well, I probably would have if I had that launch, but... Even still, he still managed to beat my personal best by three hundredths of a second. So... Well, today's PvP, we were two for five, so... Not impressive, but it is what it is. So, hopping out of there... Black Market is ready to rock. Let's go ahead and take a look at the blueprints and the materials available. Obviously, we're not going to get any blueprints, but it doesn't hurt just to take a look. Now, we're going to go ahead and get this battery. We're going to go ahead and grab these gaskets. And we're going to go ahead and grab these input shafts. Still need one more. So, I might as well go ahead and I'll spend the... 10 gold just to get that input shaft at least. So we are now down to $572,000 in cash. Let's scroll on over to this unicorn. I don't know what you're thinking. Wait, wait, wait. What are you going to do to the unicorn? Just watch, because there were a couple of rebuilds that I still had to do for this unicorn, and all it needed for this was a battery before we can do the rebuild for the wheels, and the nitro was already ready to be rebuilt. So introducing the, and I don't know how many cars I have maxed out now, but introducing the maxed out unicorn sitting at a hefty 835 performance so there it is all maxed out all six stars all across the board for all the parts ah finally definitely would do Ken Block proud with this build also scrolling on over to the right to the La Ferrari because we did get the uh, what you call it for it so might as well put these six input shafts into there and there we go so now that's that's taken care of we also have this M4 to work on but we have a lot of work to do to this M4 and it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort to even get it to where I wanted to get it to. But it doesn't hurt to go ahead and you know, at least use some of these materials for good use. Apparently I still got some stuff for the Hellcat. Ah, that. Alright. That didn't do anything. Just made it look good, I guess. Alright. Now 
Now where is... I believe that's everything for now. You know, that's crazy, now that I think about it. Out of the top 10 cars in... Uh, out of my top 10 highest rated cars, only one of them was a muscle car, and that being the Unicorn. Of course, once I upgrade some of these other cars, like the... Um, like that Viper, that's going to knock it back. What else? The Pagani Waira, that's gonna knock it back. Also, I need 40 more blueprints for this thing. Who knows, we might end up getting it some kind of way. Alright, so hopping out of there, let's go ahead and grab the third free upgrade crate of the day. And a dump pipe. Very nice. Alright. Hopping into the tuner trials. To, and Wednesday's tuner trials is up and ready to roll. So we have Wednesday wheel materials. I'm also trying to remember. Let's go ahead and do this. Just so I know which one needed what. I did like the fact that in last episode we was able to make some use out of those races to get a couple of blueprints for the Hennessy Venom F5. Without having to go overboard of course. Beautiful launch from the Viper. And across the line under 38 seconds that was actually a high quality run right there felt like I would have been a little bit faster but I'm not disappointed by that run that run was again quality all right so let's hop into the garage just to see where those steel belts will be going Probably one of these muscle cars. Ah, the LaFerrari. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we have here? Aha. So, two steel belts. I figured that. Do I have a caliper already? I do not. Okay. Let's go into Hyper real quick. La Ferrari. Do I need one or two of these? I need two. Probably not gonna be even worried about it just for the time being. Yeah, that's great. We'll do it again. Because I do want to try to get those taken care of. Oh, 
Plus gives me a chance to practice and launch onto the Viper so I can get it down pat. And across the line. Over five seconds of that clock. Probably would have been a little bit better had I not scraped the wall towards the end. But still good enough to get over five seconds left in the clock. So, we grab our materials and we continue. So, that's the two tuna trial races complete. And let's hop straight in the car series. So as mentioned before, we do have a brand new car series in Hell Riders, meaning that we'll be using basically the two vehicles that have Hellcat engines in them, one being the Hellcat Charger and the other one being the uh, Challenger Demon. So let's go ahead and do these three races here. Time Trial, Nitro Rush, and Hunter to complete Chapter 3. Ooh, muscle turbo, eh? Don't know if I'll be needing that or not. We'll see. Probably not, but again, we'll see. Now let's see how this thing feels. Launches feel better. Launches feel a little bit more predictable anyways. Ooh, deep in the 230s. 242 without nitrous. Oh, Snoop Dogg, whoever helped you design this car, you and that person are geniuses. You and whoever helped you design this car are geniuses. More than 10 seconds left on the clock, we were flying down that course. Now before I continue, I want to take a look at something. See if we need that muscle turbo. If not, we will of course get rid of it. It doesn't look like we will be needing it. So, unfortunately, muscle turbo, scrap, and confirm. Next up, Nitro Rush. That wall came up pretty quickly. Still got it, but and that wall towards the end of the race came up pretty quick. I wasn't able to avoid it.
All right, next up we have a hunter race. Not even doing 30 miles an hour. Talk about a slow start. This ain't the fastest Mustang in my garage, but it's definitely got some speed to it. It kind of sort of reminds me of the Mustang from the movie Need for Speed. Remember that GT500? Or not even GT500, but it was a Shelby. Sort of like a Shelby tribute car, if you will. So, that is 25 gold right there. And we should be sitting at or close to a thousand gold. Oh my goodness. Still got a lot of racing to do. We're just. Oh, no, there it is. A thousand gold. A thousand and four to be exact. So let's go ahead and grab the fourth free upgrade crate of the day. And then here's what we will do. I'm gonna go ahead and actually end this video and start the next one for day one of Urban Legend. Ooh, but hold on. We have a small development. We've got a bead wire. Probably won't need that, but we'll look and see. Not a lot of rebuilds left. Okay, it doesn't seem like it need anything. Oh lord. What else? What else is in store? I'm not even concerned about it. So that'll wrap it up for this episode. Tune in next time for episode 133 and day one of Urban Legend. Like and subscribe for more content. Also for uh, motorsports and of course gaming and uh, racing game content. Uh, check out the description in episode 125. Uh, this will probably be the norm until I figure out a way in order to be able to link other channels once again but uh in the meantime like i said just check out the description for episode 125 in fact uh, i'll try to leave a link for that specific episode in the description ladies and gentlemen thank y'all so much for joining much love much appreciation it's your boy warner brother and i'm out peace